Hello, it's pine time. <laughs> Today we'll talk about how to create this conifer tree from scratch, how to create trunk and how to create canopy part and also how to create these cones to add extra details to our pine. So um, for canopy part, uh, I will use the same material um, as I showed in previous video. I will leave a link to this video in the description. And I will use the same method uh, with uh, this uh, opacity masks. So I will not show it in this video. You can watch it in previous video and do almost the same. Uh, I will give just a few notes about it. Uh, do not make needles too thin. The best variant is something like this. And the worst variant was here. If you can see, the needles is very thin and it looks awful on the tree. So better to have it like this, like this. This is the best variant. Uh, I can even show it here. If I will add this, as you can see, we don't see this uh, thin needles and it's not working well. If we take this one, it's look better. So I will start from trunk. We need to go to Maya. I will create new file. And um, I like to add here uh, Unreal Engine mannequin to understand uh, the proportions of the scene and of the objects that I will make here. Uh, if you don't have it and you want to have it, you need to go to Unreal Engine, choose the mannequin, press Ctrl B to find the content browser, uh, open this blueprint, go to viewport, select the mesh, select here, and here it is. Right mouse button click, assets actions, export, and save this as FBX. That's all. You will have the same one. Okay, we go to Maya, I create the mannequin, and now I want to create the main part of the trunk. I create a cylinder. Mm, maybe it's too thick, a bit thinner, like this. And now I need to understand How big the tree will be? Oh, not here. Here. Uh, I change the settings to better see everything in Maya. So I will make this part smaller, and I think a bit bigger. Maybe a bit thinner. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's okay. Maybe this part will be a bit smaller. Okay, that's all. Uh, now I need to create branches. Mm, I will go to, to the top view. I press uh, space bar and you can see different planes. You select mouse there, plus one more time the space bar and you in the top view. So um, I go to create curve tool. Um, this one, EP curve tool. Click, click. Uh, I will make it like this new one, another branch, smaller one, new one, mm. Mm, maybe like this, and one more.
Mm, maybe one more. Small one. Like this. Okay, here will be our branches. Now we can go to our usual side. Uh, as now I can see, it's a bit. They are a bit small, so I just select them and scale. Mm, maybe too big. They should to be proportional. I think this side is okay. Now I will select one by one and use create sweep mesh. Mm. I will turn on this one. You better see. I press cup six. Uh, here will be twenty. Make it thinner. Uh, better not to do like this. Wait, I will show. Uh, not to make this end very thin because it's not very nice. Better to leave it like this. Uh, okay. Here we can press optimize. Maybe even smaller like this and it's the final setup for this branch now we'll go to another one this one create sweep mesh it's usually think 20 will be good maybe a bit thinner cap six optimize And that's all. Next one. For this one, I think 10, maybe even less. Even less, yeah, smaller a bit. This will be thin branch. Keep six, optimize. Next one. Yep, six, five. We'll make this branch thin. Optimize. And the last one. Create sweep mesh. Cap six. Something like this. And it's our... Now we need to select them all and press history. We can select them again. Take our curves and remove them somewhere. Maybe we will use them later. Maybe not. Uh, now we can delete this cap, this cap. Oh, no, we will not delete them now. We will leave them. But we need to do like this. Triangulate. Mesh. Um, oh, it's here. Mesh triangulate. Uh, I will do it automatically because I will remove them later. I don't need them. Um, now I need to prepare them for sculpt, for brush. And the same from this side. Okay, here I can do it accurate because I will use them later. Like this. Uh, this one is a connect tool. Um, Wait, mesh, edit mesh, connect. And 
the top. Now I need to add some uh, borders. Um, because I will put this to brush and I will use smooth there, I need to prepare the meshes for smooth. Um, I will just select this edge loop, this edge loop, press Ctrl B for bevel, chamfer off, and that's okay. Um, the same is for this one. Yeah, better was to do it before, but jumper off. Uh, if you press three, you can see that no, smooth preview and it's okay. It's okay. Let's move next step. Off. the same one from another side here Forget this one. So now, if I select all these meshes and press three, it's smooth. It's okay. Here we can add few edge loops. It's multi-cut tool. It's mesh. Mesh tools multi cut. I just press Ctrl and I can see the loop. And that's all. We don't need more. I select all these meshes, uh, combine them, and then file export selection. I will save it as a trunk for the brush. I will also save this file. If something crash, I don't want to lose this. Okay, I will just name it as pine. Now we can go to the brush. Okay, moving to the brush. I just go document, new document. Um, I go to the plugin of Bix Import Export Import and import here our trunk. Just drag and drop, edit, and I will press few times divide with smooth button on to make it smooth and nice. Then I will delete lower. Um, here you can see that the grid in this model is not uniform. To fix this, uh, I will go to Dynamesh, like this, and make it Dynamesh. Now the grid is uniform, it will be nice to sculpt here. So, first of all, I will start from the trunk. Uh, we can open some references. Uh, wait a minute. So, as you can see, um, the trunk uh, is different. Here we can see some bark like this. Here the bark is uh, bigger, here is smaller. Um, here is some twisted trunk. For me, uh, this one is the best one because I like the shapes like this and I will sculpt this trunk like this. So, um, I go to Clay build up brush, uh, choose round alpha, make brush a bit smaller, and start sculpting. 
I try to imitate the shape like this. So it's a bit twisted, maybe smaller. If you have uh, some artifacts like this, it's okay because uh, the nature is unpredictable. It always has some artifacts, so it's good. And also, um, to be sure that opening will be good, you need to go to brush, go to after masking and turn on back tape mask. Uh, it will help you when you will sculpt such thin places like the top part. Okay, just quick big rough shapes like this. I also want to try to make something like this. Now I will make this brush a bit smaller and we'll add small details because as we see bark is different somewhere it's bigger, somewhere it's smaller and I will add it but I try to follow the previous line so it's look organic And also I try to make it as fast as possible so you don't waste a lot of time watching it. Okay, it already looks nice. We'll add more in the bottom. And also more details on the top. Like this. Now again I will take a bit bigger brush, maybe not so big. And then the middle shape somewhere. Yes, it's look nice. Don't forget about the bottom part. We will also will add some confirmations. And also top part. Don't forget about top part. As you can see, it gives nice uh, bumps on the trunk, so it looks natural, but it's still still light. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I will use trim dynamic for the bottom part, just to do like this. Okay, and also I want to add a few touches to the branches. Very small 
touches because even if we have bark on the branches they will the bark will be small. Okay, like this. That's okay. Okay, nice. That will be our tree. Sometimes I use clay polis. Uh, sometimes maybe smaller. No. Hmm. I'm not sure I like the result. Okay, I will leave it like this. Uh, now I need to export this as my high poly model. Okay. And um, also I want to use this trunk um, as it is. Um, no, not, not as it is, but this trunk from the brush as my main trunk so I want to replace that uh, cylinder and uh, for this I need to use decimation master but uh, I don't need these branches I need only the trunk I go with the plugin decimation master preprocess current now I go with the plugin and I think um, 0.1 will be good decimate uh, I think I can give it more. For example, zero point two. Uh, yeah, that's that's, that's okay. Uh, I go the plugin, FBX import export, and export this mesh as trunk from the brush. Okay, that's all what we need from this brush. So after this brush, we go back to Maya. I just create new scene. Uh, take my trunk from the brush, drag and drop it here. Uh, I just delete these branches and this trunk, export selection. I will just resave as a trunk from the brush. Yes. Now we can close it and go back to our pine scene. Now I will take now I will take the trunk from the brush and move it here. Now we can select the previous cylinder, separate them and move it here so it's everything we need to have to create our low poly model but before this we need to delete this parts that we made for smooth preview delete I select and then I press Ctrl to deselect. Select, Ctrl, delete. And the same is here. To delete everything with so yeah I just delete everything we don't need like 
this? Yeah, and now we have everything that we need to create low poly model. So first of all, we need to check our mesh from the brush. Um, I will go to the um, vertex selection mode, select all vertices and go here, merge vertices, merge, go to one, to select all vertices that are very close to each other. Then I will go to mesh cleanup. For cleanup I have these settings. And also I will make all this mess smooth. smooth. So I go to um, mesh display, soften edge. So like this. Now I need to create UV map. I will try different ways to unwarp it. I will try to UV cylindrical. Maybe it will good, maybe not. Mm. Mm, it's good enough. Um, I think I will cut it in the half. and go to cut I don't know why we can't see that it's white here but I have a cut here okay ah because I don't uh, I don't select this one. Yeah. To see that white cut, you need to turn on this feature. Okay. And also for these branches, I will remove first this one, then select them and go UV camera based. Uh, I will need the cut here. here and one cut on the top and also here oops oh we forget to delete some stuff here. We can also select them and make them smooth. Then select this edges loop, make them hard. And also here. Hard, hard, and here also hard. Yeah, that's all. Now we select them, right mouse button, UV shell, and fold. We can orientate them, layout. Maybe we can rotate this like this. And now we select F8 all objects. We'll assign one material for them all. We'll call it pine.
and now we select everything and press layout. Uh, this stuff is very small, so I will make it bigger. And these branches are also small, so I will just scale them. Why not? So yes, yeah, that's all that we need for our low poly model. Um, now we, I will combine these meshes and file export selection. I will save it as this trunk low poly. And now we will need to bake it. We go, I bake everything in Marmoset. You can bake, bake it directly in Painter after. So first of all, I create a baker. I choose our low poly and high poly model. High poly to high, low poly to low. In Baker I choose 16. I will make everything in 4K, why not? Uh, and uh, I will bake only normal map and ambient occlusion. For normal map I flip Y. So, and that's all. Ah, I forget to choose the output director. Okay, I go here, choose my uh, pine tree folder, new folder. I call it bake. Choose targa and call it pine trunk. Okay, that's all. Preview. As we can see, everything is great. With branches, everything is also great. I will press back one more time. Yeah, nice. Now we can close this one. And now we can go to um, Substance Painter. File new, PBR Metallic Roughness, OK, select our low poly model, it's uh, pine tree, trunk low poly, import bake maps, we will add maps that we already bake, and OK. Now we go to texture set list. Select our normal map, select ambient occlusion and bake other maps. I will also choose for key, why not? And uh, I check out normal map and ambient, we don't need them because we already have them and just press bake selected maps. And Painter will bake everything based on the normal and ambient occlusion we had. But if you want to bake everything directly in Substance Painter, you can uh, go here. Uh, just bake and here you can choose uh, high definition meshes you choose high poly model and switch this on and bake selected textures and that's all so uh, all textures baked uh, usually i already have some uh, prepared uh, smart materials but now i will start from the beginning First of all, I create fill layer. Uh, we can choose color. Uh, try to not try to not to go for very dark colors, better to have it something in the middle. We can also choose the colors from references. Okay, let it be. Now I will go to smart masks and we'll try to use them and take a look what we have. Okay, nice result.
from the first spot. Let's take our brown color and make it lighter a bit. Okay, for base layer we will make it not so shine. Here also less shine. Okay, new layer. Mm, what else we have here? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this one. Oh, wrong target. Mm, nice, but I want to have it reverse. I go to Mask Builder and just invert it. Make it a bit smaller. Okay, and go underneath of this. And let's make it a bit darker from the bottom. Maybe a bit more. No. Like this. That's good. And here maybe we can try different stages. Uh, no, let's let's take normal but make it a bit transparent. Okay, next layer. Mm. Rust ground, why not? Nice result. Also, if you want to make it a bit more stylized, we can also go to mask, right mouse button, add filter, add slow blur. And we have this nice blurish effect. We can play with the scale of this effect. Mm. We'll see what we will get. Uh, okay, I will try with color. Nice brown color, nice brown color. Mm, maybe a bit orange more transparent. Also for this layer I will make it roughness, less roughness, less shine. We always can go to check our roughness. Maybe it's okay. Okay, no, even now it's almost okay. Um, we can play with these masks as much as we want. I've already used this. Okay, dirt soft. Mm, interesting. Maybe underneath. Underneath. And try different. Oh. Very nice. Maybe for this layer we can also add filter, slow blur. Uh, yeah, it looks smoother. One more layer. Mm. Mm, also nice. But my bacon, I think we can take it a bit more yellow. Yeah, like this. Not very obvious. Okay, new layer. Um, what's interesting? Just rust. Hmm, why not? It's good variant for color variation. Also, we'll add slow blur. And maybe this time something dark, not dark. I 
it's okay. We'll check roughness. Okay, I think I can leave it like this. Now we need to export these textures. First of all, I will save this file as um, I will call it I'm drunk of this painter. And now we will export textures file, export textures. We will choose Unreal Engine for Pact, Tarka. And the final directory. Here we'll create a new folder called textures. And we'll open everything there. That's all that we need from Painter. Now we can go back to our trunk in Maya. So now I can ungroup this. I will take branches and I will place them here in the tree. All these uh, branches is our modular kit and now we can make as many copies as we want and they will just stack in UV and everything will be okay. So, um, sometimes I just take them and place the pivot somewhere here and now we can counter that duplicate and rotate them and place them where we want so they look nice If they don't touch the trunk like this, it's not a problem, we will fix it a bit later. Now we just need to set up they, so they look nice. We also will change the scale of these branches, so they fit better to our idea. Think like this. Oh, maybe we can place one more here. More to the top. Or maybe no, maybe more to the bottom. Mm. No, more to the top. Yeah, like this. Okay, I think that's look good. Oh, 
maybe one more closer to the top like this okay now we can select them all center pivot um, for center pivot as I remember it's here edit oh delete by type history it's uh, also uh, modify uh, ah modify center pivot here it is okay now we will take a look and a bit change the directions like this maybe it's go down this go up a bit this also go down this like this because uh, branches are always uh, not perpendicular to the trunk they uh, grow a bit like this they look into the sun this also I will make branches smaller because when they go to the top they became smaller I also need to not forget about this And from the bottom we can make them a bit bigger. Here also a bit smaller. And go up. Oh, and I forget to rotate these branches. Oh, wow. I want it so they look like this. this shape now I can do it manually for each branch but yeah better to do it <laughs> before you start duplicating them so it will save your time so like this it looks more logical and also for this one for this one maybe better like this looking down and looking to the sun and this also and this also When I rotate these branches, they start looking better and better <laughs> because at first they look a bit strange.
using some also a bit. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Uh, our main part of the trunk is ready. Now I will select everything and combine them. Okay, now we want to add leaves. Uh, what we will do next? For add leaves, we need to create plane. Uh, and also, we don't need anything more. Then we need to create a new texture. We'll call it leaf. Oops, <laughs> here. Leaf. And um, select color file and choose our pine's um, texture. We'll go to our tutorial and um, I don't remember which one was great. Okay, ah, here we can have a have review. Okay, let's take this one. And to see the texture, we need to click here and here we go. I will duplicate it, rotate, because we need to have it like this. Combine and scale a bit. Yeah, that will be it. Ah, and also rotate it like this. That will be the part uh, that we will use for whole tree. Okay, duplicate. Go to the branch and start adding the needles. Because I want to have uh, fluffy pines, I add them a lot. Like this. And one more. select them, combine, duplicate, I will use this small punch for all three, like this, duplicate, place above, select them all, duplicate, combine, rotate, and place it here.
I want to make this part more fluffy. So even like this. The next branch. I try to place them under the branch, but that's not so important, so they touch it directly, just near it, and that will be enough. And now the top part. For top part, everything is the same. No, it's already look very good. Oh, I forget one branch. I will also want to make this branch a bit fluffy. Okay. Mm. Maybe here also make it bigger. Okay. Maybe a bit more here, so it's not so lonely.
Yeah, I think uh, it's okay. Now I select everything and combine it. Now we need to, uh, as you can see, our normals look in different directions. In an engine, this pine will look strange, so we need to fix it. To do this, we just create simple sphere and put them inside our branches like this. And one more for this branch. So everything should grow under the sphere. Uh, not, uh, not under, but above, above the sphere. So yeah, one more thing. Uh, we need to do this for all branches. Let's look nice. That's almost all that we want to do. Now we need to select all spheres, combine them. Now we select spheres, com select uh, our leaves and go to modify uh, or to mesh, transfer attributes. I will show my setup. So we just uh, do the same as me vertex normals on and we click apply and as you can see the leaves change that's okay don't forget uh, to do this now we choose the leaves history delete by delete by type history and now we can remove the spheres and everything is nice the next step that we want to add it's the small uh, dry twigs that will grow from different parts so we need to create this uh, some dry parts. We can also take a look to reference as you can see the shape of our tree is nice. So um, I will find just yeah something like this. To do so we go to Photoshop, create 1k for 1k textures, fill it with black color. And now we need to paint our branch. Try to no, try to do it uh, not very thin as always. Um, I will try to do it by hand. Like this.
Um, yeah, something like this. Uh, with pen tablet it's <laughs> easier to do, but I try to do it with my mouse, so yeah, it's a bit not, well, it's not very accurate, but anyway, I think it's, it's good. Okay, I think this branch is ready. It's quite nice. I'll save as as usual PNG. We'll call it Pine Drive Zero Two. Now we back to Maya. Create a plane. We also don't need these subdivisions, just plain. Add new material. Uh, we'll call it dry. Uh, color file. And we'll choose our texture. Okay. Now we will need to cut it. Maybe do it like this. Uh, we will use multicut tool. It's here. Um, mesh tools multicut. So like this, like this. like this. Okay, now we just, oops, now we just delete the stuff that we don't need. We need to combine to connect these dots. Um, as we want, uh, no. If if you want, we can bend it a bit, but I don't do this. I use it like this. And all we need to do is just populate it through the tree. We can make it bigger, smaller. Maybe this one a bit smaller. This one can be bigger. Maybe not so big. Oh, yeah, something like this.
I try to make them smaller to the top so it looks more logical. Okay, maybe one more. Okay, I'm satisfied with this result. Now I will select them as usual. Combine them and now I also uh, need to transfer attribute. I will create a plane, select, uh, select plane, select them and go to mesh, transfer attribute. Now we need to history delete by type, delete this mesh, and all is good. We can also save everything. Now the last part that I want to add to this pine tree is this cone part. So for this we also go to Photoshop and we need to paint or to find somewhere in the internet the cone shape. I will make it very simple like this one. So I will just paint it. So I paint big part here, small part here, maybe a bit smaller and now I will combine them like this. Uh, <laughs> it's like ice cream, but okay, I'll try. This is the cone. Okay, let it be. File, save as PNG. I will say it as pine cone. Now I go to Maya create a plane apply new material I will call it cone file my texture Ctrl D. I make it like this, combine, rotate, and make it smaller. And it's my part for the population. So now I will populate this cones. like this.
Okay, like this. And maybe one more here. So one more. Okay, I think it's enough. Oh no, I want one more this here. Yeah, nice. Okay, I select everything, combine, create a plane. Select a plane, select cons, mesh, transfer attributes, cons, history, delete by type, delete the plane, and everything is ready. Um, as you can see, I combine this dry twigs with the trunk, and this part I want to keep separated. That's because uh, when I will play with the material for canopy part, the canopy will change the size because if you want more fluffy uh, pine tree, it will become bigger. So we need to uh, move it to suit the tree. So we will select everything, file, export selection, and we will export it like pine02. Now we go to Unreal Engine. Accidentally it closed, but hopefully it will open fast. Here it is. So what we need to do next, we take our, oops, uh, we take our pine tree. Here it is, we move it here, drag and drop, and um, pay attention that combine uh, meshes is turned off because we need to have it separated, and click import. Now everything is important, and we can just drag and drop our tra pine tree, it looks nice even without textures. Uh, now we can, we need to choose our textures for con, for dry part. Move it here, as you can see, it, uh, some textures left from my previous pine tree. And also we need these textures from Substance Painter, except emissive. We also drag and drop it here. And as you can see, um, they imported as virtual texture, that's because I use a virtual texture in my scene. Uh, so we need to convert them to regular textures. To do this, right mouse button click, convert to regular texture. Okay. That's all. So, uh, as you can see, uh, my pine trees uh, transfer smoothly to the terrain, because I use virtual textures. But for this tutorial, I will show the regular shader without virtual textures because it's more commonly used, I think. So it will be like this without smooth transfer of color. So first of all, we need to create a trunk material. How to create it? The setup is very simple. Here is all setup for the trunk. Um, here I don't make any changes, I leave everything as it is. So, what you need to do? First of all, you need to take your textures from Substance Painter, uh, double click on masks and change this to the masks. 
uh, then choose all these three textures and drag and drop it to our material. Base color, ORM, ambient extrusion roughness metallic, and normal. So, um, we need to convert this uh, textures to parameter. Right mouse button click, connect to parameters, add name, and you will have uh, the same texture. We will do the same with this texture and with normal. So now the color part. Uh, first part is our color textures with tint. And the second part is um, moss that will live above the tree. Okay. Mm, to create tint texture, just press 3, convert to parameter, add name, and here you can change the color. And you have the same. Then multiply it node M and click. After that we go here. Mm, to create ball aligned blend, right mouse button click, world align blend. Here it is. To create these parameters, just click S like snake, like this, and you will have the same. Plugin everything, blend sharpness, blend bias, and plugin it to the LERP. LERP is linear interpolate. Uh, here it is, linear interpolate LERP. Plugin everything as it is and move it to the base color. That's all. For ORM textures, air roughness, um, or um, red channel it's ambient occlusion, green channel it's roughness. If you want to manipulate with your roughness, you need to create multiplied node and parameter node, S and you have the same one, and plugin it to the roughness, and B it's metallic. That's all. And the last part, it's normal part. Uh, I decided to use a uh, detail normal because uh, I want to add some extra details on the bark. To do this, I use uh, Quixel Bridge. Uh, if you type here a pine, go to surfaces, bark. Uh, you can choose any bark you like. Mm, I choose this one. You can go, no, you can download here and go to files, find the texture and just drag and drop it as usual but pay attention if you use virtual textures so it's not a virtual texture and that's all drag and drop it here convert to parameter change the name and you have the same texture and also i wanted to tile this texture as i want because um, it's uh, quite big i need it smaller so uh, I create texture coordinate, texture coordinate node, here is parameter node S, SSS, multiply M, M and click. Um, and we will plug in it to our UVs. So then I decided that this normal is very intense for me and I want to make intensity smaller. For this I used node flatten normal and normal here it is and this is the regular parameter node s and click and also now i blend uh, detail normal and regular normal using blend angle corrected normals blend angle corrected normals here it is and plug in it to the normal that's all set up for the trunk Save. Now we need to create material instance. Right mouse button click, create material instance. We will name it MI. MI. Pine. Trunk 02. And we will apply this material to our Uh, wrong slot here and as you can see it looks awful uh, because we don't apply our textures so don't be panic everything is okay 
we will open our instance material and turn on the textures and just drag and drop here normal and base color and as you can see our trunk looks much better now and now we can play with other parameters as you can see the normal is a bit intense we can make it more less i think i will make it a bit less we can play it with blend peers so it's our moss more or less more intense or less intense okay i will leave it like this we can play with the color of our top you can make it as you want snow you want snow here you can you can have the snow but i will leave it green i like this color and yeah that's ok now we can go for our leaves as i remember i told that i use the same material as i made in previous video here it is but i made only one change here uh, as i remember previously for subsurface um, i use emissive but here in changes to the regular subsurface uh, i change it here to subsurface and um, all this part that I plug in to emissive color before, now I plug in it to subsurface color and that's all difference. Uh, why I do this? Because if you want to use this uh, pines or trees in the dark um, and you use emissive, they will shine in the dark and with subsurface color they will not shine. And that's the only difference. But if you like this shiny and you want to use this, um, you can use it and nothing bad will happen. Um, then we need to create material instance as usual uh, and uh, make it up of your material. I will use um, one of mine. I will create a copy. Apply this copy to the trunk. And here we have a beautiful green trees. Here is my setup for instance uh, we can also add the texture that we made this one it's not so nice but it has unique something unique in maybe this one maybe this one okay i will stop on this one and um, uh, we can play with the size Okay, we, we will do it after. Uh, before we will make this dry part and cons. So, uh, here is all we need to do to create this material. We create material master, right mouse button click material. And all we need to do is just drag and drop our mask material, right mouse button convert to parameter. And it's all. Uh, and plug in it to opacity. I also choose it to sided foliage masked to sided. Uh, color press 3, convert to parameter, add name, and change the color. And you will have the same one. And roughness is usual S. And place it here okay that's all uh, now we need to create material instance uh, I will call it am I fine dry why dry zero two and apply our branch material here and now we can apply this instance to our tree and as you can see we now have these beautiful dry parts 
and we just need to make the texture fit better for our pine tree color so we can just change a bit color and that's all now the last part is corners i will just copy this instance and just change the alpha texture and now apply this to our corners and as you can see here they Uh, as you can see here, I use another alpha for the corner and they look like this. No, I think it's more pretty than this one, but this one also has its own charm. So, um, why I'm talking about changing the size uh, of the canopy part, because if you will go back to the material instance and start playing with billboard scale to make the pine tree more fluffy or less fluffy, it changed the position and we need to bring it back a bit down to fit the branches and now also we can see the corners we also can move them a bit lower and that's all now when we satisfied with our pine tree we can select all part of it right mouse button click convert to convert actors to static mesh choose the folder where we, where we want to save it and call it um, pine three full zero two okay and now as you can see here we have the ready pine tree and if you want to use it as foliage you go to foliage drag and drop it here and you can paint with it but you need to add extra setup for example like this like this and like this and now I will rise a forest in few click. Here we have it. And we can also add some grass. Some flowers. And now we can go and take a look on our forest. It looks very nice. And here you can see a winter style, autumn style and different it's our forest from the far it's another conifer trees that I made before so as you can see they all are beautiful and few notes about changes I made um, the parameter is the same we just no, we can play with uh, subsurface color uh, you can always play with color of the trees bottom for example play with hue shift play with brightness play it with hue opacity look very nice tree <laughs> almost dying but very nice um, and also, as you can see here, I have a groups, BC, billboard, global, opacity. Uh, if you want to add the same one in your shader, you need to go here, select the node, and here you can see parameter group. You just type the name, normal, and now this node is in group normal. 
And when you want to add another node to this group, you just go here and select it from the list. And here you go. After that, you will have it separated on these groups. And, with, and it helps you to orientate in your material. So that's all. Here is our beautiful tree. I can place it here. So yeah, I wish you good luck with your trees. Goodbye.